going on everyone, the Rampage Rabbit here, and in this video I'm going to be raising my own noob army, which shall help me take over the world. And as you guys can see, Noob Army Tycoon is opening up. And fitting for us, it seems like that we are actually in a noob skin, yeah. There you guys can see, it's absolutely fitting for us, so we are a noob and we are playing in a noob skin. And not only that, but it is night time. So now what we're gonna do is before I start anything off, I'm gonna use a bunch of codes in order to give myself a little bit of an advantage, right? We're just gonna give ourselves a itsy witsy tiny little bitty witsy bit of an advantage. Because we can't start off from the beginning, that would make us so boring, so let's use some Twitter codes. Oh ho ho! As you guys can see, it seems like we've got ourselves a couple million gold. That is quite nice, so I do say so myself, that is some... That's quite nice, um, that's some quite nice cash. As you can see, we got 50 gems and everything without even doing anything. Uh, I don't think we can enter the codes again, but we did get ourselves a decent amount of money. Let's do something else. Alright, let's type a noob. And as you can see, our money has gone up a bit more. And you guys know what this means. This means I'm gonna type in a bit of some codes. Let's try some other codes. And as you can see, just like that, we've gotten ourselves quite a lot of money. As you guys can see, I'm a professional noob. I know everything beforehand. We're gonna get this started. You guys can see, I have something around like 200k already. I haven't even gotten started. So now, the first thing for raising our own army is that... Ah, why? Why do you put the warship here? Why? What need do you have to put the warship at my friend's door? But anyways, what I was saying is, you guys can see, I already have myself... 21k money and research points so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building our factory over here and what we're gonna quickly need to do is we're gonna quickly need to build everything else as well right like this over here wait 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 can we get stuck inside nah man i always want to try to get stuck inside the walls but as you can see we'll need to build all of the workstations over here quite quickly and the faster we build the workstations, the more money we'll get, actually. So I know where all of the workstations are, luckily. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to get ourselves money quite easily at this point. And as you guys can see, it really and as you guys can see, so far, due to all of these codes, we have 19,000 cash. We can buy so many workers with this much money. Sure, they are only making us like 10 stuff right now, $10 per click. But that is not too bad. I've had worse times where this much progress would take you a couple of hours. But with the help of codes, you guys can see it becomes absolutely insane. And once you've done all of this, basically, you guys need to build the next floors and stairs, which may take some time. But you guys can see you just click over here. You guys can get everything, everything. And boom, the second you hop inside, there's a staircase. Click this. It shall build itself up, you can climb up it instantly, and as you can see, so far our empire is doing quite well, we have ourselves money at this point. And these guys over here are of course the workers. Now workers, very important, it is very important you spend money on them because they- Ah, oh, no! Are you kidding me? I hit the cap already? Ah, oh, well as you guys can see, I did a decent amount of that, a decent amount of progress already. We have ourselves quite a lot of workers in a few seconds. And a decent amount of research points. So let me just buy some walls. And there seems to be something something blinking around here. As you guys can see, it basically instructs you on where to go and what to do. Of course, I am quickly going to build everything on the inside of this because this is where my units spawn in. And this, these mini barracks over here, you guys can have approximately two of them so far as far as I've managed to reach. And as you can see, you can even send them out to war. Now, for every person which they defeat, you actually do get gold. So you want to invest in your army so you guys can get more money from them. That's just what I'm saying. Now you can send them off and as you can see you can build more of these things. And as you guys can tell we are no noob over here. You can see we have literally everything else working quite well. And of course you can see that there are even arrows giving us instructions on what to do and where to go. So this is basically like your setup guide on what to do if you're brand new to the game. And if you guys did what I did in the beginning you guys can even get yourself super noobs. Imagine this guy. Look at how strong this guy is. It's just like a super unit noob. Duh, 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 duh. Let's see how we're doing. We're still at zero kills, which is quite disappointing. But our military, I haven't told them to do anything either. That's the thing. Let me just tell them to take the center. Wait, no, not the center. Yeah, they should be able to take the center. It shouldn't be too hard. Let's see how this goes. Now, of course, you can see that they are dying. Oh. I think our troops might be dry dying to the highest person there. Well, as you can see, it basically tells you guys what to do and what you can set up and stuff, but you can see it gives you instructions on what to do. But really, our main focus is money and stuff. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to buy the bridge across. Hello? 
I kinda need to buy a bridge across at the current moment. So in order to get more money, what we'll need to do is we'll still need to buy a bridge across from here to that side. Because the second we can do that, we'll be able to get across. Now in order to do that, I need to get myself the walls and upgrade people here. So, you, let me just quickly start upgrading. Oh, alright, alrighty, this is going quite well. Now we have people producing three money every second. Do you guys see this? Three! It's a giant number three. We're getting three money per second. Now let me just quickly start upgrading these people from the beginning so I can increase my profits, right? You guys know, profits are basically everything in this game. If your money's going slow, you won't be able to progress on. So this should be your main goal. Uh, apart from your army, this should be one of your main goals to do. Just upgrade these guys. I promise you, you will not regret upgrading them. And as you can see, and as you can see now, a lot of people have been upgraded due to the amount of 3 person monitors you can see. So I am doing some good work. Now, in order to get more housing facilities, not housing facilities, but in order to get myself more uh, places for my units to live at, I need to do this quite quickly. And as you can see, new areas have come up where we can build stuff. So my main goal is actually to get my units some money so we can start getting stuff done even faster. Now, there should be a w availability to build an island bridge connecting across to that place. It will come up eventually. I know it will. Maybe I just need to build everything before that, like the roads. Right, your roads exist, so like this, 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 this. So yeah, you guys can see, it will take you some time, but you can get yourself this stuff, right? Yeah. And now, you guys can see, we even have trucks mobilizing themselves. We have trucks going into battle. And that should be enough in order to buy the things over here, right? I think we should have access to it by now. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, there, you guys, I said it in the beginning, but we should have access to a bridge. Yes, yes. Here it is. As you guys can see, we can buy a bridge for 50,000. Oh, man. We'll need to buy a bridge for 50k, but we will need this. Because once you guys get that, trust me, you will not regret it. That bridge will be one of your best business decisions on this planet. But on the other hand, you still need to do. Uh, you still need to keep an eye on your people and keep. And upgrading. of course, here's another business tip. If you guys are ever feeling like you're short on money, what you guys can do is you can actually start working as well. As you can see, there's a station over there for doing approximately how much? There's a station which gives us approximately 50 money for work, right? Yeah, 50 money per work. And of course, this takes us much longer than the rest, but it's still decent. Like, you guys can see, if you really are thirsty for the money, you guys can use this method. Right now, let me quickly upgrade some more people. And you guys can see, we're having a fear, uh, we're having a lot quicker progress over here, but still slow. Okay, so since this isn't working, I think we'll need to buy some more units, actually, in order to, like, get this. Trust me, guys, you want to do this from the very beginning so you guys can actually get yourself the stuff. And once you actually have it, it won't be a pain anymore. You'll be easily be able to deal with it all. And really, it should just... Yeah, once you ha actually have all of this stuff, you can buy more upgrades and stuff. You can change your army, you can buy staircases and everything. As you can see, this seems to be working. Now, once you've actually unlocked the research center, you can change your army and equip your people. Right, so far we have gunners. We need to change all of these guys to soldiers so they do a little bit better in the game. So, just a friendly reminder, this is what you guys want to do. Just change everyone else when you have better units. And over time, you will unlock yourself better units. But at the current moment, you guys want to get money. So I will be showing you the fastest way to get the money. Right now, we're currently at uh, one-tenth of what we actually need. So it will take us a little bit more time in order to get the 550k. So sometimes, in order to get that 50k, you guys will need to do what I am doing. You need to go around getting more money. And of course, sometimes that means upgrading your units, and other times it means... I don't know, trying to get more money, I guess? We still need 50k, which isn't enough, so I'd recommend you reinvest your money into your workers who are making money. And another thing which you guys may have forgotten about is actually there's something called quests. Now if you click on quests, what you guys will see is you can actually get gems for completing quests. Now these gems are helpful because they actually allow you to unlock skins and stuff which you guys can use. Now skins themselves are pretty cool because you guys know they're skins, you can unlock them, you can use them, you can make yourself look cool and all, but that's basically the point of gems. You can't really get much from them, but oh, oh, we have 50k already. Alrighty, so now, well, I, I've decided that I'll just put the money back into upgrading my troops over here. 
VIPs or not. Uh, by troops, I mean like the people over here. Alrighty, so it seems like you can even open up some crates by using gems, and we only have to open up three, so let me just quickly just do this, and you guys can get yourself pets in game as well. Let's see, it seems like we've gotten ourselves a mini noob, which is um, cute. It is very cute, I must say so myself. We've gotten ourselves a mini itty witty tiny cute noob. The same thing again. Okay, let me just open up a more expensive crate. And we've got ourselves a glowing noob. Wow. A glowing noob is amazing. Let's see what these guys do. Alright, alright. So it seems like that this gives us 1.4 more money for the tycoon. Do you guys see this? 1.4 more money for the tycoon. And as you can see, now I have a mini noob following me around giving me additional money. So what we're gonna do with this money is we're quickly gonna invest it over here because I do want this island. Hold up, no way did I just waste all of that. No, oh, oh, thank god, I thought I just spent 5k on that and I was gonna be so furious like, how did you spend it on that? Of all things, you spent it, I was absolutely fuming there for a second or two. But as you can see, this is the building which you'll need to build up. In order to buy the first floor, we'll need 20k. But you guys can see, this will allow us to get all of the work centers first, so we'll be able to earn money a little bit faster. Of course, money is the main thing which you'll need. And as you can see, our money is going up quite well. It's not too much, but it's still doing good. Also, I just realized I've been upgrading my units from the most expensive ones to the least expensive, so that explains why I'm having money shortages. Because I'm upgrading the most expensive people first, like, duh. Okay, I have noticed it's more efficient just to sit around than actually work, because then they make as much money as you do, and like, like, yeah, they're pretty good at making money. As you can see, the mystical loop raises a hand and works like this. And in that time, you can see that we've actually gotten ourselves a decent amount of money and we can upgrade someone else. We're still only getting zero kills? Hold up, hold up, no. No, if we're getting zero kills, the other person isn't getting any kills either, right? That's it, if you're trying to keep the centered all to yourself, nah, -uh. no way am I allowing you to do that, you're getting no more money from me. Right, that seems to be doing well. We've held off our entire army and now our opponent's kill count won't increase too much from us. So now it's just our, um, it's just our fellow player who's giving them money. Of course you guys can see their kill count stopped going up, their money stopped, everything else is good. Ah yes, now you can see our nearly, nearly the entire area over here for money makers is filled up. That is good because the quicker we can get ourselves the money, the better it will be. Now let me quickly get back up over here and buy some stuff, right? Yeah, this guy's still needed. Now unfortunately, you can't upgrade these guys who make like 10 money per second, but still, yeah. I guess that's a thing which you guys can't do, but yeah, it's nice, I guess. Hmm. As you can see, this is the center which you guys will want to upgrade first, as it will be the one providing you most of your money. Upgrade the places which provide the money first, and then you should be good to go. Because if you get the money places first, well then, yeah, what else do you need to do? You have yourself the money source. Alright, now we have enough money to upgrade this guy. Yeah, alright guys, as you can see, money is going by a little bit slowly, so I think I'll be back a, a little bit in a little bit when I get more money. 2,000 years later. Okay, how do I make a normal sounding laugh? An evil laugh. <laughs> as you can see, everyone here now has... All of their monitors upgraded to level 3, and now everyone here is making me 3 money per second. That is good because they will stay here for the rest of their lives. They will be stuck here, never again leaving, for they shall be here for time. And as you can see, I've upgraded everyone over here, so now they're producing a decent chunk of money, and now we can buy people over here as well. And boom shakalaka, just like that, we have our first money making center completely done. Now what I'm gonna do is, of course, I'm gonna have to head over there. And by over there, what I mean is we'll, there's one building which you'll have to go after. And for that one building, we'll need to do one thing. What is this one thing I might be talking about, you may wonder? Well, this one thing which I'm talking about is... Well, it's another money-making building. And from this money-making building, we'll be able to get more money. But that's not the focus now. Now, we have ourselves a decent chunk of food money- Wait, what, what am I saying food? We can't exactly fight off against some people, but what we can do is we can't upgrade anything else either. Welp, hello sadness, my old friends. 
But what you guys can do over here is you guys can see over here that you can actually, and as you guys can see over here, you guys can actually upgrade your units. Imagine upgrading your units over here. Yeah, you can upgrade your units, right? You can just select them like this, and then you can go over here and upgrade them. And now over here, you guys can see we can actually upgrade our units, right? You can click E to have their health increased. Everything else over here can be increased using money. And as you can see, this is also key to making your units survive longer because if they're stronger, that means they can live better. And if they can live better, that means they can earn more, right? Yeah. So basic theory over here is that if you continuously upgrade all of your units, you guys will see that you will actually get yourself, well, you'll get yourself more stronger units. If you get yourself stronger units, well then, we all know how that's going to work. Everything else is going to be so much better. Now what you can do is you can upgrade your units, that's going quite fine if you ask me. We can actually release them now. Come on, follow me my units, my brave units, you shall follow me and not go ahead of me under any circumstance. But anyways, you guys can see, so far our units are making it over here, I wonder what center... Oh my god, oh. What? Talk about rude! These people are placing airplanes over my base! Nah, -uh, you are not getting any more money! Alright, I am angry. This guy's just camping at other people's bases. That is it. No money for this guy. But yeah, you guys can see, usually your army does do pretty well, but in this case, everyone else has a couple... Has a couple million billion, so I can't really do much against them, so I'll just have to wait and grind it out in the base. Aw, oh, man! But yeah, you guys can see, Clone the Army Tycoon is fun, I've unlocked some stuff over here, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna upgrade some more. The better the upgrades, the better they'll do. Alright, now I need to upgrade Fire Range? Fire... No, not Fire Range. Fire Rate, no, no. Range. I need to upgrade their range, because this is what will help them see further, right? Right, hopefully they can shoot further, I'm just hoping that they can, like, fire off a single bullet. Because this is our zone, we shouldn't be getting attacked... The audacity of some people to hold a siege at my base. But as you can see, the main problem here is players with higher amounts of money because they just trap you everywhere. It's really limiting if you ask me. But as you guys can see, that's not going well, but you can upgrade your unit's ranges, so don't worry, you do have hopes. Now guys, I think I'm going to end off the video over here. I really do hope you guys found this video enjoyable and are still enjoying it if you are. And if you guys are, please do hit that subscribe button. It really does help out my channel a lot. I really do appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who does that, I will be catching you all next time, the Rampaging Rabbit out the house. Time to go and take over the world with my army eventually in a few more episodes. Yeah! So, bye!